Hey guys, welcome back to Today on 2. We are joined today by Mr. Bill McCartney. You are the owner, operator, everything here <laughs> at the Red Door Emporium right here in, uh, in Coleman, Alabama. So tell us a little bit about what the Red Door Emporium is. Well, it, it's a lot of different things. Um, at its heart, the, the purpose is, is a funding source for the community. Right. And when we make a profit, which will probably be next week, I'm sure, <laughs> uh, we'll give the profit back, our annual profit back to the community, half to Christian Outreach and Mission, half to our nonprofits through a grant program. Okay. But also, just as important is building community. Right. And so we're doing several different activities to help do that. Okay, so what are some of the different things that you all do here for the community? Well, uh, for instance, we, we do the uh, Divine Red Door Discussion Group. And the idea is that every Thursday, uh, folks come together from any denomination or no denomination, whether church or unchurched, and we'll have rotating clergy come in and just pose a question okay. for discussion. Not a debate, not me trying to convince you that you're wrong and I'm right or vice versa. It's just learning more about God from each other. Uh, we'll also have a, a Red Door Walking and Running Club. Doesn't cost anything to join, but you know, based on how many miles you move mm -hmm. and how consistent you are, you can earn store discounts, t-shirts, those kind of things. So, That's you know, cool. trying to get folks to get healthy get and, and, it's, yeah. and get together, mm -hmm. be social, and then the Red Door Emporium will kind of give them a carrot okay. to, to go. <laughs> yeah. and, and then you guys also have a book club. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, once a month, on the first Friday of each month, we'll have an Alabama author uh, come in, talk about his or her book. And so the idea is, instead of just what most people think about as a book club where you read the book and you get together with your friends to, to talk about it, we'll have the author come in and talk about his or her book and talk about where the ideas came from and where the characters came from and, and those kind of things to give you a little more insight into the book. And we had the first one uh, last week, went great. Uh, got Ben uh, Johnson mm -hmm. in uh, December. Okay. He's going to talk about uh, Southern being Southern fully defined. Right. His we new had, book. We've had, uh, we had Mr. Ben on the show before. Yeah. So he's, yeah. Uh, he's oh, a he, character. He, he is. is. He, he's <laughs> great. He's great. And the book is just funny. It, it, yeah. Uh, he's taken a lot of information out of his journals, mm -hmm. and it's just little quips and quotes and thoughts, mm -hmm. and it's it's great. Right. And then in January. Oh, oh go ahead. Okay. In, in January, we've got uh, Keith Sloan, who wrote uh, a book called Jabbok. And Jabbok is the name of a river in northern Israel. And uh, Key grew up in Mississippi. And this book is set in Mississippi in the late 50s, early 60s. Mm -hmm. And it's about a relationship of this eight-year-old boy through early adulthood with this elderly black man huh. and it's a great story great uh, great ideas right, uh, right. in there um, so anyway Alabama authors and promoting all kinds of literature now and, are you like is there a possibility that you will be selling any of those books here or well, where are they available like, I'm glad you asked <laughs> as a matter of fact they are here and, and the ones we have here are also autographed oh. so you can get an autographed copy and then uh, the day that the author is here, you know, he can inscribe it to, okay. you know, so, each person. So they make person. really great gifts, huh? Absolutely. And, so, and you've got some other things. Tell us a little bit more about um, the store side of the, the emporium side, if you will, <laughs> okay. the Red Door Emporium. Uh, we, of course, uh, have a cafe, mm -hmm. uh, serve breakfast and lunch, Monday through Saturday. Uh, but on the gift side, we've got, you know, glass, we've got jewelry, we've got of course, art. Right. We've got and you know folk art. We've got fine art. We've got uh, metal. We've got all pottery. Mm -hmm. We've got all kinds of art. And again, it's Alabama artist. Mm -hmm. uh, our jewelry. We've got some great stuff uh, that uh, uh, metal workers have done, or uh, you know glass workers. All kinds of stuff from you know ten dollars to five hundred dollars. Awesome. Yeah. So all of the art is for sale. That's All awesome. of the art is for sale. That's awesome. Just about everything in here that you see it's is for sale. sale. If you want to buy a table, we'll sell <laughs> you a table. Right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah, so tell us about the uh, the cafe, the menu items, because you guys have some different 
menu items and you're likely to see uh, at some like the Burger King or the McDonald's. <laughs> well, we, we certainly hope so. <laughs> um, one of the things that we've got that uh, was real popular 30 years ago and everybody said, oh, you don't want to do quiche again because that's been done. We do have quiche huh? and we found that People still love quiche. That's one of yeah. our best sellers. Yeah. Uh, we've also got something we call a Spanish muffin, right. uh, which is an English muffin, sausage, egg, marinated onion, a little sour cream, yeah. and that's so good. <laughs> yeah, you've had it. it, it it's very good. <laughs> uh, you know, so we've got those kinds of things, and, and we're looking at um, expanding the menu into some different areas and doing some, some a, a little funky kind of stuff, but okay. we think will be really good and it may involve grits. So, so do you have a favorite menu item? Like if somebody were to come in and say, what do you recommend? What would you tell them? Wow. That, that's hard. <laughs> um, you know, we've got a stacked turkey that I think is just excellent. We, and we have a poppy sauce that goes on that, huh. but it's a lot of turkey and we shave it. So it's very tender, very right. juicy, fresh. Uh, fresh, absolutely. And you can get it on a croissant, which you know nowhere else in town that yeah. I know of you yeah. can get on a croissant yeah. or hearty wheat. Uh, but we also do things like eggs benedict, mm -hmm. and I don't know of anywhere else in um, town that you can get think. eggs benedict. It's and that's something people still love. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and we can take the hollandaise sauce off and add chili to it, and we call it a Santa Fe Benedict. We yeah. can take that off and add etouffee to it and call that a, a New Orleans Benedict. Hey. You can get a bowl of great shrimp or crawfish etouffee, yeah. get red beans and rice, and mm -hmm. we've got a real... It's yeah. <laughs> and we've got a real Cajun that actually cooks this for us, well, that's and, awesome. and he does a wonderful job. So y'all have, have tons of food. Y'all are also a fully functioning kind of um, coffee house yep. of sorts. Yep. Yep. Um, you can get hot chocolate or frappes or exactly. that sort of thing. So um, definitely uh, anything and everything you can think of, I think you can come here and find. <laughs> right. it's, just a, it's just a nice place to uh, come and sit down. Maybe come bring a date, bring sure. some family member. Mm -hmm. Just come yeah. and sit down, look at the art, and yeah. buy something. We've got the holidays coming up. So right. definitely right. some ideas there. Well, hey, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today. It's, uh, it's been a pleasure. And we want to encourage everybody to come out and check it out. It's just a... A gym, I feel like it, it is. It is. It's so unique. It's so unique. There's, it is. There's no, no other place you cannot go like anywhere it. else like this in Coleman. So come and check it out. The Red Door Aquarium, right next to the Coleman Times, yes. downtown Coleman. Right. So uh, thank you so much for being with us today. <laughs>
right, here comes our next entree on mm. course meal. Okay, mm. so what do we have here? That is our spinach feta quiche. Okay. And the fruit of the day is fresh pineapple. Mm. Okay, so now is it every every day? Is it the same quiche, the same fruit? No. Uh, it varies. Okay. Yeah, well, what are so. some of the different ones that y'all have? Well, we've had grapes. We've had um, cantaloupe when that okay. was in season. And then for the quiches, we have sausage and tomato. Oh, that's a good one. And spinach and onion. That's okay. Okay. Oh, well, cool. Well, then we can't wait to dig in. Thank, Thank you so much. You so much. So this is great. Yes. It's, it is yes. really good, and it's um, it is you said it's a little bit different from what you expect, but that doesn't mean mm -hmm. that's a bad thing. Mm -hmm. It is yeah. a uh, very delicious. It is um, okay. For that, okay, I had no idea what quiche was going into this. I had no idea. So tell us, Joel, because Joel is our quiche expert here. Right. What? What? How do you make quiche? Like what? It is. is it? It, it, I, I don't know how they make it. I know how it is, how it's, how it's genuinely, generally made, um, and that is the, um, uh, what was the word you used, Mr. Bill? Um, custard. The custard, custard of it, which is, uh, which is mainly just eggs, um, cream, and milk, which is basically what holds all of the ingredients together. You put it mm. in the pie crust, you put in whatever you want to put in there, spinach, sausage, onions, uh, peppers, um, and it's like it, an omelet. And it's like an omelet. Okay. And you just, you just bake it in the oven and it comes out nice and fluffy and it is really good. So definitely get down here and try this because you can't walk into Cracker Barrel and say, give me some quiche. You can't. You can't so walk true. into very. Well, you probably you can't, can't walk, walk into, into any, any place. place. Except right <laughs> here. Uh, so, so, here. so come down and try this. So everybody, stay tuned because we're gonna go and walk around and look at some of the art. So we'll be right back. All right, here we are in one of the art galleries here at the Red Door Emporium. Mm -hmm. So we have lots of different stuff. You know, we say yeah. art gallery, but it's really an everything gallery. Yeah, so, it uh, really is. Like this is. Um, Features a lot of uh, Ben South stuff. It's got some T-shirts. Um, it's got some just little little prints. Yeah, little prints. Like here's Louisiana. Get funny, y'all. You have Ben South. Like lots of little things like that. Yeah, it's got a, it's got a lot of stuff. You can come in here and purchase some of his stuff mm -hmm. as well some as aprons. Yeah, his aprons. Nice aprons back there. Um, um, as well as his book. Yeah. Um, being Southern, fully defined, and like they said, this is going to be their um, book club book for December. Right. So that is available um, here, and these candles are also um, some of Ben South's work, and they are poured by the candle garden, but he has developed the scents and yeah, he's the, on, he's for, the for them and them. themselves. So uh, you can come in here. We got some uh, some oh, coffee like mugs some up mug. here. These from, are, this um, is from Nelson Studio Pottery. Yeah, they, they do all of these. And, and the cool thing about all of the stuff in this room is that it's all from right here all in Alabama. Craftsman. Yeah. So uh, you can you can come in here and find some stuff that you might be can't find on the WDG, the Piggly Wiggly shelves. So yeah. come in here and check it out so, because they have a lot of... Uh, these mugs are for people that look like this before you drink your coffee. Yes. Uh, don't, so, this is exactly what Dennis looks like at 5.30 in the morning when we show up for work. Don't, that's what it... Don't... We, don't we, we, you didn't, didn't hear that, that from, from us. So, just in case. You, got, you have lots of pickled stuff over here. You have jelly, Green tomato chutney. chutney. Um, um, <laughs> cookies. We've got pepper sauce. All of this... Um, these jams and stuff right here. This jelly was completely made in Coleman County. It was all the Coleman fruit County. was grown. It was all of it. It was can all of it. Canned it's all of it. In come Coleman and County. check it out. It's good to support our local commerce and uh, encourage these local craftsmen to keep on doing their thing. Mm -hmm. um, of course, and then we have over here in the so the corner we have some organic organic socks. socks. I don't we know if I can reach over that way. We there have. We and they they've got knee high socks. They've got just regular socks, and they are for men, men and, and for women. women. So, so that's really neat over there in the corner. I'm going to come back and get some of those because yeah, it's cold outside. Because it's freezing. So yeah, that's just uh, that's just a look at some of the stuff in this room. Um, we have some more stuff over here. All right, so here's some more stuff over here. We have um, lots of good stuff over here in the corner. Yeah, all of this is made um, in Huntsville. It's lots of um, soaps and lotions, and it just it smells delicious. I was smelling it, yeah, it um, smells really earlier. Good. It's a good, just a nice 
really clean scent. Um, Tina, the lady yes. that served us the quiche. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, she um, has made the dish rags and the bibs and everything down here. So, so all everything in the building is straight from Alabama artists and craftsmen. Everything. And I can't think of any place that has <clears throat> has shown off such great, I mean, you know, I'm local talent. Say, you can't find this stuff anywhere else. <laughs> yeah, but but you can't. It's so true. Like these. From a place out of Birmingham, um, the this is from Griffin Family Farms in Hansville. Just hey, all sorts of great things just, in this just in this whole whole, whole building. Yourself. Yeah, can't say enough how unique everything is, is in here. It, 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 come down here and check it out. It is uh, it is definitely one of my new favorite places, um, mm -hmm. especially if I'm just gonna go out and sit down and have some breakfast or yeah. just uh, or just anything. Just come down, gift ideas. The holidays so are coming many. up. Yes, Think it's about already it. mid-November. Yeah, it's uh, so. for, and, and there's not like huge, uh, um, I guess. It's just so unique. We cannot stress enough how unique the things are in this story. If you buy, you know, if you get any gifts from this from Red Door Emporium, it's not going to it's unique. Yes, you're not going to have to worry about somebody else somebody getting else it for them getting. already. Yes. Unless they bought it. Unless the they show bought too. it here. So there you go. So this has been a great look here at the Red Door Emporium. We want to encourage everybody to come down here and see it. It's right next to the Coleman Times in downtown mm -hmm. Coleman. Come get you some food, buy a gift, and um, just check just it out. Just chill out. Yeah, yeah, hang out. Well, we'll be right back right after this.